Vaughn, good morning. Good morning, Craig and Chanel. The families of those 121 unaccounted for individuals awaited that implosion last night anxiously, concerned about the impact it would have on the search for the loved ones. But just this morning, those search crews already back in the rubble. Overnight, the partially collapsed condo in Surfside demolished. Officials pausing search efforts for the controlled implosion as 121 people remain unaccounted for. The demolition earlier than expected. Officials saying the fallout would be controlled and that rescue efforts had previously been paused due to fears that the remaining structure would collapse on the rubble as Tropical Storm Elsa barrels towards Florida's coast. After the demolition, surrounding streets filling with dust and debris. Nearby residents told to shelter in place ahead of the blast. This is really just a continuation of the tragedy. Unfortunately, this is something that has to be done. Rescuers immediately returning to the scene following the blast. Bringing the building down in a controlled manner is critical to expanding our scope of search. But it's a race against time. The storm's path is slated to slam the coast with wind gusts and rain in the next 24 hours, complicating an already grim situation. For families of the missing, the wait for answers excruciating. My mom's already under, under two buildings, uh, so now you're going to drop a third tower on her. My biggest fear is that now there's really not going to be anything to recover. Pablo Rodriguez's mother and grandmother are among the missing. His own son, like so many, struggling to understand. Even then, I, I think he's still fighting what he knows, and he still wants to talk to his grandmother. He wants to talk to his great-grandmother like he did every Saturday. And not having an answer for him is extremely difficult. Last night's demolition was a major operational hurdle for this search effort, but at the same time, it is a step here towards a progress as a storm. The major tropical storm is expected to descend here on Surfside later this morning with wind gusts and rain expected to descend on Surfside within hours. Craig and Chanel. All right, Vaughn Hilliard for us there in Surfside. Vaughn, thank you. Joining us now, the mayor of Miami-Dade County, Daniela Levine-Cava. Madam Mayor, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for covering this tragic tale. Uh, well, of course. Um, it, Madam Mayor, it, here we are, 12 days later, and, and you guys are still calling it a search and rescue operation. Uh, the building was demolished overnight. By calling it a search and rescue operation at this point, it, does that give false hope to family and friends? W would, would everyone be better served by not referring to this as a recovery operation at this point? We brought down this last tower in a controlled way that did not in any way interfere with the site where we're searching. And in fact, it opened up an area that we've not been able to search before. So we owe it to all of those waiting to give this pile and open it up for search. And that's exactly what happened uh, last night uh, before midnight. They were out there again searching in the rubble. And uh, we, we understand that families uh, realize the, the, the fact that time has gone by. They realize that the chances are, are growing uh, dimmer and dimmer. Uh, they are with us. They know exactly what we've been doing every step of the way. Mm. Did the building implode the way it was supposed to? I mean, you know, you just touched on that, the, the demolition there. It was just so hard to watch. What are you telling the families? I mean, were they supportive? Yes, these families have really come to understand and trust what we're doing. Uh, we've, we've talked to them about every single step. We've talked to them before. We've spoken to the public, to the media. Uh, they have asked all their questions. Experts have been brought in to explain every piece of it. And uh, by the way, this happened exactly as it was planned to happen perfectly. What, what's what's next, Madam Mayor? I know, I know the, the rescue operations are, are continuing today. That the tropical storm now uh, barreling t toward the coast. Where, where do you go from here? Well, fortunately, the the storm seems to be heading westward, so we're not expecting to have a major impact from the storm. Obviously, we have had to prepare, uh, and of course, the building came down uh, in time. So we're going to continue the search. We're continuing our twice-daily briefings with the families, and uh, 
we are going to do everything in our power to continue to search. And, and Mayor, there are families who frankly had to leave all of their possessions behind, literally. Is there anything being yes. done to help all of these families? There are so many now who, who don't have anything. Yes, we have had uh, an incredible outpouring of support. FEMA was on the scene the next day, the State Department of Emergency Management. We have over 20 five organizations on site every day at our Family Assistance Center, and everybody who has so sadly now lost their, their homes and their belongings is being given uh, incredible support. We have uh, several foundations that were established. Millions of dollars have been raised thanks to the generosity of people all around the world. We're relocating people. Uh, you know, they're, in, they're staying in hotels. We're relocating them into more permanent uh, settings. And we're going to do our very best to make them whole. As well, we have been asking them to go ahead and catalog all of their precious belongings so that as soon as they are recovered, we'll be able to make a match. Madam Mayor, um, thank you for your time this morning.